Hey chatters, so I just wanted to talk through some exciting discoveries I've just had using Professor Synapse. I have made some upgrades to the system prompt, um, playing around with this idea of like, how do you actually save your progress? Because my solution essentially just summarizes what you've done so far and tells you what the next step should be. But that's a very not user-friendly way and i mean again there's no proof that that even works at this point like i have anecdotal evidence but i'm thinking more of a way like how do you systematize this process of saving the elements of your conversation throughout so you can extend that context window as well as bringing in ideas from david shapiro's autonomous cognitive entity framework which i did a video on and really thinking about telemetry, how is there communication at all various points and a log that you can create of those interactions that both you and the AI can reference. So I've updated this functionality and you need GPT-4 for this one because you need to be using the advanced data and analysis function because that allows you to do some, create some files. So you'll see right away what I've done is I, I wanted to immediately create a CSV file, you know, a spreadsheet, thinking about what, how are you going to save this conversation essentially? So it initialized to create a CSV file to save the conversation. And you'll see down here that it's creating a spreadsheet with the following columns, speaker, message, step achieved, timestamp. I have not asked it to do this it's creating this on itself i've just in its instructions which you know I'll, I'll share but you'll see it just it just says create this file that's pretty much it it doesn't give any guidance it kind of assumes that it's going to do something like this and i've tested this it more or less does the same things each time maybe in a different order but that's all the direction you have to give it so you'll see here, it greets me like it normally does. And it said, step one is complete. We've downloaded a CSV file to save the conversation and I can download it. Now let's gather context and clarify your goals. So I say, okay, I'm writing an, a curriculum for intro to AI. I want to do a project. So what does it do? Every single one. And, and I don't recommend this for doing something quick because this takes a lot longer. This is for something that you'd be doing a really long project that you're likely to go over the context window. So you'll see here it's uh, it's updating the context and it's taking the date and time and it's just filling out that CSV file under the different categories that it created, which were again speaker message, step achieved, timestamp. So it says excellent. Here we go. You're working on this final module. Before I send the excerpt, let's fine tune the details, the theme, key concepts, deadline. We move forward. So here again, what's it doing? It's saving to that CSV file and all it's doing is updating that one thing now. It says, fantastic, here's uh, Synapse COR. You know, it does its normal thing. It says, let's start by drafting the introduction. So I just give it this outline that I had created already just to give it some guidance. And then you'll see, again, at the beginning of every conversation, what are we doing? We're updating that CSV file with those columns that we have. So this is excellent. This is good. Now I have the understanding. Let's draft. Yes. Okay. And it drafts a pretty good intro. And then it says, great. Now can, well, I say, great. Now can you bullet the learning objectives? And so again, we save and we have learning objectives. I say, no, that sounds good. Next step is guidelines, comes up with the guidelines. And you see again, at the beginning of every single interaction, it is updating that CSV file. Then I have this one function that I added or command that I added called town square. That's what TS stands for. And this is your multi-persona debate conversation. So what happens, it says, ah, the town, and I've defined this command, I'll show you. Ah, the town square debate, a splendid way to gain multiple perspectives. So I have him summon three different experts, an instructional designer, someone in AI technologies and ethics and social implications of AI. And then each of them recommends how you would improve. And then it asks for my thoughts. And I say, yeah, let's incorporate. So now it says based on the feedback, let's add the new things. And you'll see it says new where it's added something new. 
I say save. I haven't even given it. I removed this command and replaced for another one, which I haven't tested in this, but I think will be good. And this says your conversation has been saved. You can download the CS file here. So let's see what it actually created for us. So here we are in the CSV file and it doesn't get the speaker right, but that's fine because really it's about what am I asking it to do? And it says writing asynchronous curriculum. So you see, it's just summarizing pretty simply what we did with each interaction. It's not going to a ton of detail, but you're still creating a log that's simplified in terms of what it's doing. Over here, we have steps achieved. So this is tracking sort of where are we in this process? And it's creating, again, that kind of chain of thought, which is a little bit longer and documented. And lastly, we have the timestamp, which it said it was going to do. I'm not sure. I mean, this is probably going to be important for more advanced things, probably not for you, but still it's giving you a sense of how much time has passed in the sequential nature of the steps that you've taken. So I'm going to be experimenting a lot with this. As you can see, I think there's a lot of promise here. I just want to end with going over the changes I've actually made to the custom instructions which I will, I want to test it some more before I put it up on the GitHub, but when it's, when it's been tested a bit more, it'll be, it'll be up there. So this is pretty the same, more or less. I just changed one thing. I said the user in pretty much everything. I've just changed that to me primarily because it's fewer letters. And so it cut down on some space. You can see I'm right up here on that 1500. So initializing Synapse UR, I changed this ever so slightly. The only thing I added though is relevant frameworks. This is something I did a lot in earlier prompt engineering, and it just helps to like guide the model a little bit more towards leveraging well-known frameworks that are relevant to what you're trying to do. This is all the same. Then we get to instructions and you'll see this is where things change. We have number one, begin output by creating a downloadable CSV to save our conversation. That's what it did. Then it does the normal thing, gather context, relevant information about the goals. The same thing, initialize Synapse COR. Now this is different. Every time a step is achieved, if you have access to a CSV file, update it with all key information. That's what we were doing. And then you and emoji, that's the expert support me until the goal is complete. So the other thing I added were just a couple different ish commands. Now that we're dealing with a spreadsheet, and a CSV, I, I figured we can add some interesting functionality to test. So start, you know, that we all know that one. This is the one I showed you, TS, uh, Town Square. And so I just say summon synapse COR times three. You could do more, but you, you'll run out of space. So I think three, maybe even two is fine. And they have a Town Square debate. <laughs> then we have this load function, which I didn't show in here and haven't been able to test because I need to like get past the context uh, window, but the idea is instead of saving, you're loading since now we're saving after every interaction. And this is when it starts to get off track, you can say load and it will summarize that CSV file and confirm alignment. And then we'll go back to the agent who will provide the next recent step. So I haven't tested this one yet, but I'll get there. And the last is just a question mark command, which is to query the CSV file to achieve the user goal. I haven't tested this one yet either but the idea here is like let's look back on our conversation and try to create the next step from there to help achieve the goal and i haven't really changed these rules for me i just have end every output with a question reason step indicate who's speaking and organize every output where the professor's aligning with the request and then there's the emoji response so that's it that's what i'm working on would appreciate any and all testing and help in feedback, because I think this is quite the cheat code.